I'm just a mean green bird from outer space and I'm bad. Mean green bird. There's been a trend going around of people turning themselves into brat stalls. And I'm like, that looks really fun. I want to have fun too, so I'm going to do it. Except I was looking around the interwebs trying to find a doll that I wanted to look like and I wasn't really feeling any of them. I wasn't seeing myself in any of them. And I was like, are there any like goth or Halloween scarier looking ones? Have they ever had a monster line? And then I was like, oh, hi. Monster High. They're basically brat dolls mixed with Disney descendants. They look cooler and that's the kind of doll I want to look like. So that's that. So there. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this video on this channel instead of my second channel, I would like you to take a look at the numbers over there and then look at the numbers over here. It ain't over there. So I'm putting it here. You know, I haven't posted anything on this channel in a while. Oh, hi. And I was like, you know, the spirit of this channel has always been playing dress up and playing pretend, acting animated, becoming cartoon characters. So I figured this is fine. If I from here on out started posting content that wasn't lip sync sort of videos, at the very least, I would still make it involving like cartoons and animation, embracing your inner child and not growing up, that sort of thing. I should probably tell you who I'm actually turning myself into today. The Monster High doll that I chose is Venus McFlytrap, who is the daughter of the plant monster. And if you've been around here for a while, you know that here on my channel we are big fans of the plant monster. We're quite familiar with his work. Audrey 2, or Tui, from Little Shop of Horrors is one of my all-time favorite movie monsters. He's probably one of my favorite characters ever. So why not dress as his daughter? However that happened. Probably through me. I have not been telling you what I've been putting on my face. Urban Decay Urban Defense Complexion Primer and NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. Am I really gonna tell you all the products? I mean, I guess if you wanna like follow along or take tips from this. Don't expect miracles. I like doing makeup. I like doing cosplay, but there's a lot of techniques in this look that I'm not very used to doing. So this could end up disastrous. One example being gluing down my eyebrows. I am not doing that today, or rather I won't be doing it in this video because Fun fact, this is the second time I've tried to film this today. Bitch. Ah. When has my channel ever been quality? Oh no, it's peeling. I'm already struggling. No. Clearly I'm doing well. I'm shedding again. Go away. Oh, it's a disaster. I think I fucked it up. Like the phoenix, we are going to make this work. We rise from the ashes. This would have taken two seconds if I just shaved them off. Do I do it? What did I do? Should I start over? Really want to make this work. It didn't end well. So instead, we're just gonna use my own eyebrows and it's gonna be fine. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on in this look that I think you guys can forgive me for not making my eyebrows disappear and giving myself a brand new eyebrow halfway up my forehead. This is just a Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream. Not much coverage, just kind of like balances out my face a little bit. We're gonna go in with a light green anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're just kind of like creating a canvas. You know, all that talk aside about trying to create different content for this channel, that's not to say that I'm done with making music music videos, but YouTube's changed a lot where my content, at least my old content, may as well just be home videos at this point. It wasn't like a production, or at least it used to not be. We tried to make things more of a production in later years, like that It's Dangerous to Go Alone video. I actually just moved to Florida though, so I don't really have a lot of friends to film with down here. So I need to start coming up with content I can do on my own, because I miss making videos. Growing up, making videos was my passion. That was a NYX Studio Photogenic Concealer. I have this green snazaroo paint that I think I'm just gonna tap on lightly. This is a water-based paint, but I don't think I'm gonna add water to it because I want this to be like super lightweight. It's like a tint. Ugh. That's all we gotta do, just blend. Giving myself a green five o'clock shadow, like a midnight shadow. It's 12.41 AM. This is probably not gonna look cute for like the majority of this video. And then it's gonna start coming together towards the end. If you guys miss my old music videos where I would lip sync to stuff, I recommend you go check me out on Twitch. I'm there once or twice a week regularly. I've been pretty good at keeping that up. I'm usually either drawing or playing video games, mostly drawing. And when I'm drawing, I'll play Disney and Broadway music and I'll lip sync and and just kind of like ignore my artwork and just put on like a lip sync show, you know? So if you just kind of want to hang out with me or miss seeing me perform, that's a good place to see it. That's just twitch.tv slash r 2 ninja turtle. Guess I'll take this off for now. I'm naked. I do have a plan for the hair, don't you worry. But you know, let me know in the comments if you're against me just putting up other videos. My channel's like a zombie. It's, it's never dead. It's, it's doubled. 
dead. It keeps coming back. There's a patchy. Do I look dirty? Because she's like punky, I'm like assuming it's gonna show some neck. I guess I can always go in with more green if I need to. Like a froggy ferny cabbage, this YouTuber is unnaturally green. A large chunk of you may actually be here from Frederator. If you didn't know, subscribers of the olden days, I've been doing a lot of stuff with Channel Frederator recently. I got a surge of subscribers from me posting on there. So maybe some of you are just happy to see me. Maybe you don't care about what content I post as long as there is content. I need to get back on my game. I need to have fun again. So I'm painting myself green. I match my hair now. Um, we're gonna go in with the Morphe James Charles palette. And I wanna use the dark green color as like a contour because Venus has a much different nose shape than I do. And also um, we gotta thin this a little bit. I'm just taking this, this brush. Is that? Oh, good, that is dark. Oh, now we're really gonna get a five o'clock shadow. I do not contour on a regular day. I do put on a lot of makeup, but I do not touch any kind of contour situation. Like, I'm not really a fan of like that chiseled sort of look. I like the more rounder, fuller cheeks. If I do contour, I'm just like contouring like this part of my nose. So like this looks rounder. Do more on the jaw to try to make it look smaller. Maybe a little bit on like the chin. Trying to make it teeny tiny and pointy. I'm just doing this for like contrast. She has kind of a gigantic forehead, so I don't think I should touch the forehead, but I am gonna go in and, oof, okay. We are certainly sculpting something here. I just look like I have a broken nose. What would have helped if I did get rid of my eyebrows? They're like really far apart. Maybe I'll like put like a little bit of concealer right here just to kind of like open them up a little bit more. Do I dare? Maybe just like a little bit in the center. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Well, we are doing something. I will bet you right now my nose is gonna be running by the end of this video. It's almost like a green Dove Cameron sort of nose. <laughs> Blending that a little bit. Looking ahead, cause she has gigantic lips, I'm gonna add some contour under my lip. We'll make it look like it has a shadow later. Should probably do something about these eyebrows. Did that even really do anything? I do not like this. Oh, okay. These are definitely not Instagram eyebrows. I'm definitely looking like a different person. This is driving me crazy. I'm gonna pull down the contour on the neck a little bit because I feel like very contoured in my face and there's just nothing happening down here. I'm gonna kind of go the extra mile and contour my collarbone a little bit. This is like a corpse bride contour. I better not hit pan. This is a new palette. James Charles told me to unleash my inner artist so I turned myself green. I think just to add like a slight amount of dimension to these eyebrows, I'm just gonna darken the bottom a little bit. I'm not a fan of this tail. All right, finally I'm gonna get to the eyes. She's got a big pink thing happening. She's got a cut crease with like a line and everyone else who's done this doll challenge has made them way bigger, which I'm probably gonna end up doing. So maybe I should start with like an outline. You know, I'm gonna draw this in with eyeshadow first, lightly. Does that make sense? Get off of my brush. I wish the eyebrows were higher, but Yup dives, I wonder if you're still alive. You know, up into my eye right here. And these eyes pretty much go out until fucking Tuesday. Up, uh, oop, that's a line. I think I might erase the tail that I gave this cause I need these eyebrows to be higher. YOLO, get off me. Uh, that was going well. I'll drag this out this direction, maybe? Mm. 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 This is Maron grease paint. A little goes a long way with this stuff. This is what clowns use. I hope the eyeshadow will appear on this. Oh no, we've escaped. Oh no, our contour. I told you this was gonna look weird, but it's gotta trust me. I think a gel eyeliner might work because it's more paint-like. Oh, what'd I tell you? My nose is dripping. Stop it. Stop it. This brush is disgusting. 
disgusting. Could I have done better there? Probably. At this point, I'm going to start working on the actual eye shadow. She's just got pink, a big petal of pink. Oh my God, okay. It would have been better if my eyebrow plan worked, but it didn't. So we just got a deal. He's fine. It looks very clownish right now, but I think we're going in a good direction. How you're supposed to do a cut crease is with concealer. I've just never done this before. I don't even know if I need to go in with the light pink eyeshadow because that concealer already looks very pinkish. Oh no, I fucked up the eyeliner. Ugh, that's uneven. Go back with the pink and kind of like get on top of the light one that we just put in. Probably should have been focusing more on keeping the eyes far apart because hers certainly are. And I'm not doing that. Oh well. I'm gonna just go in with this light pink in the palette, matte that out a little bit. It's like a nice neutral sort of highlight. I'm gonna put that right there. Now I'm gonna go in with this marker, the L'Oreal Blackbuster, on top of the pink that we added. Don't fuck it up. Could have gone worse. Could have gone better, could have gone worse. But it's like a little uneven, maybe a lot uneven. But we're gonna add like a shit ton of lashes, so maybe it's not even gonna even show. Back with the Black Buster. We're gonna, mm. just like that. <laughs> kind of a fucking mess. Why eyelids, why are you so wrinkly? Oh, that's cute, I can make that work. Uh, I think now's a good time to draw in the pupil in there. I'm gonna go about this. The outer color first and then go towards the center. Might be the best approach. So she's got blue eyes. Oh, this is hard on the grease paint. I think I'm going to outline it with this dark blue. I hope this looks okay. Unlike most people I've seen do this, like it's worked. Right now I'm a little iffy. God, stop it. Here we go, pupil. I'm going to take black eyeshadow. This nice bold black. That's much better. Nose is still running, thanks for asking. You know what, I'll use the green eyeliner, like something to line the pupil. This is adorable. You like that shit? Green eyeliner. Should brighten up the place. It smells awful. NYX Vivid Brights. It smells like chemically. God damn it. My camera died for a second, but I just took the uh, Blackbuster again and I added like a little outline to the sides of the eyes here. The white's looking a little on the gray side right now. Oh, you know what? I have a, um, I have a big white eyeliner right here. I'm just gonna brighten up that inside area. I see a little more of a contrast now. Take a brand new brush that I haven't touched yet. In case you haven't noticed, I've been like reusing my brushes over and over. I'm gonna go back into the white paint. I'm gonna add some highlights to this eye. A lower one down here. Okay, well I tried. Is this doing anything for you? I think the eyelashes might make a big difference. There's a fly in here. Ew, get away from the makeup. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight to the center here. Kind of like help the illusion. Dragging this down a little bit more. So there. What are you doing? Now real quick, because it's hot in here and we've been doing this for so long, I'm going to put down some setting spray because clearly we can melt. Stand back. This could be bad for the paint, I just realized. We're gonna add some eyelashes. She's got a lot. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now I see it. Hi, Sully. What you doing, so? It's my boy. I'm just gonna bounce this out a little bit. I kind of like that. That's fun. Okay. 
Oh, I wanted to add some black eyeliner to my waterline right here. Help that uh, illusion a little bit. Now, this is a thing, what we're gonna do right now. Lots of our junk out of the way, we'll clean it later. Eyelashes. Fun fact, I did princess parties for a while. My best friend had a company and she was very adamant about having lashes on because they do really make a difference. And I agree, they add just to this extra bam. But here it is again. If I did that, I would be so late to all of my parties. What is happening right now? Because it would literally take me like an hour to get these things on. So a lot of the times I just didn't bother with the lashes. I'm gonna powder my nose, it's looking very shiny. There was this one event I was like a good half hour late for because I was too busy trying to get the, the lashes on. And then at the event, there was a child who was like, your eyelashes are falling off. And I'm like, I'm so bad at putting them on, but I'm gonna try. It's Cause I wanted to go the extra mile for this look. The eyebrows didn't work out. How could you survive? So I really want this to work out. I want to feel glam. Normally you're supposed to trim these, but I don't see why for this I would. We're gonna try. I don't even know where I'm putting them yet. On my eyelid, duh. I'm just gonna go for it, let's go. Now I know it's gotta get tacky. I know this is gonna be terrible. How long do I wait? I don't, I don't know. It's like a little high in the center here, I mean, I could probably like just like go in with some eyeliner. My issue is that you can't really see them. <laughs> like it kind of makes a difference. I always end up doing this. I like take some eyeliner and like kind of fill in the gap that I missed. These are very underwhelming compared to these down here. Uh, is this even on my eye? Where's this going? I actually think I did better. I don't think I have to fill anything in this time. We really need to brighten that white up, I think. That will make a big difference. Also, I think my highlights kind of blended away. What the fuck is up with that? I like thickened out the center line to like get rid of that squareness. I forgot to blend in the eyelashes. I'm gonna do this. Ah, shit. Fuck. Don't do that. There's so much happening on my face right now, I can't tell if I'm tearing up. I like didn't know where my lashes were. Is the mascara a bad idea? Well, that was pointless. That went way farther than I thought it would, but at the same time, it's dope, so I'll keep it. That looks boss. I like that. I'm not going to touch the top eyelashes, mostly because I'm afraid it's gonna start just smudging this whole area. I don't trust this eyeliner not to do that. Keep it as is. God fucking damn it. Now we have to do the lips, so this area really needs to cooperate with me right now. Why don't we highlight the face? No, 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 no. No, that goes after setting spray, okay. Though we did put a setting spray on. Okay, what the fuck ever. Highlight now, because I will need it for the lips. A guard gear. That's not gonna be there in five minutes. So I got big lips. I probably should have highlighted before I put down those eyelashes. This is the eyelash avoidance technique. Oh, cute! That's cute. This is gonna be weird, but she has this gigantic ass forehead. Okay, I think the best way to go about this, we're gonna put down lipstick first and then we will go over it with the little teeth that she's got. Definitely overlined at the bottom. Yeah, overlined at the top too. They're wide set and they go out a little bit to the sides. Oh, I have a, uh, I have a pencil. I think it might actually be a good idea to go in with a darker red to add some like dimension. Yeah, look at that. Quick tip from me, when you fuck up lipstick, you wipe in. Lipstick has a tendency to just smudge everything. Take a clean finger and just push in. <clears throat> this is literally every morning for me. Everybody else getting Joker vibes. Boom on with this bright one in the middle here. There's like a little bit of contour. There's little dimples. Oh, 
Let's make my nose run even more. Just gonna take a little bit of eyeliner. Let's open the mouth up just a little. One last thing, and I think we're finally fucking done. They're looking very pink. Oh, shit. No, it's turning pink! Fuck. Shit, I think we might be done. With the face. <laughs> Fuck me. I think I'm happy with how this looks. I'll probably be more happy when I see it all together. All right, cool. Let's set this baby. Whoa. I just massacred my... You good? He's got your number now. He knows just what you've done. So that's that's that. I guess I will quickly do my hair with, um, I have this green hairspray and I have some pink hair chalk in here. Let's finish up this look and then we'll do a final reveal sort of thing. Let's do it. I am really happy with how this came out. Like, I'm looking at myself in the vanity over here. Um, this actually- I feel really cute, honestly. I think this lip shape is really, really cute. This hair is dope. Like, I would wear this hair. I don't really know how this video came out, like, as a whole. It's been a minute since I've done something like this. I'm not used to this kind of thing. I don't know how to pace it. I don't know what to talk about. Let me know in the comments what you guys think if you'd like to see more content. I don't know, like this, like, sure, like this if you want. This channel isn't dead, but I certainly don't post on it often, so I thought it'd be nice to put more content on here. I will do music videos, but you know, let's do other stuff too. A lot of people have told me it's my channel and that's my choice, but I just want to make sure you guys are happy with what you've subscribed to because we've been here on YouTube for a very long time and it's kind of strange to switch it up now, but at the same time if you look at our content it's very dated. So it might be nice to throw some other things into the mix. I'm okay with that. Like I mentioned, if you want to hang out with me in real time and chat about this, you can come watch me at artuninjaturtle.com or twitch.tv slash artuninjaturtle. And yo, in case you didn't know, I'm also on Instagram, DeviantArt, you know, Facebook, all that jazz. But yeah, thanks for watching. Cat is knocking shit over. Sully, you want to say bye to everyone, Sullivan? They haven't seen you for a while. We're going to shower this all off and go to bed now, okay? All right. Ooh. Bye, guys.